Okay, welcome back to the next stage uh, in the process of birthing this beautiful shamanic drum. We have, uh, we've just cut the lacing and we're all ready now to punch the holes to take the lacing in the skin. So that's the bit we're gonna look at. Let's have a quick slurp of coffee. Right then. Let's take the lacing away for a second and let's take the frame away for a second. We'll find our little pencil. Now what we've got to do is we've got to divide, uh, we've got to put marks all the way around the outside of the skin. Uh, and there's gonna be 16 positions and 32 holes. So two holes in each of the 16 positions. So to do this, First of all, we're gonna fold the skin in half like that. And when we do, at the crease, we're gonna get the pencil and we're just gonna mark inside there and open it back up again. Okay, so that's exactly halfway. Dead easy, just fold it over again the opposite way so those two lines match, meet up. And in the crease, we mark it again and there we go so we've got four marks on there we've got the four quarters now so now we're going from quarters to eighths and to do that we're going to mark line those two marks up there and look at this crease here and we're going to mark that just on the inside Those two marks that we've just made, we're going to fold to meet each other. And mark the crease again. So now we have got the skin marked into eights. We've got eight marks on there, so we want sixteens. Because that's a lot of folding to get the sixteenths, and we've got quite a quite a narrow area there now to work out the halfway point. I do this by eye. In theory, you can do it from folds. You can match that one to that one and do it like that. That's to there, that's to there. And you can mark that, that's the 16th. But I personally prefer to say, okay, let's just look at the distance from there to there. Let's eye it in and just put a little mark on. I think once you've got down to eights, it's pretty easy to do it by eye. So there we have it. We have 16 marks going all the way around the outside. Let me find my little wooden block. That's uh, in the, yeah, it is. Now, the size of the hole that we're going to punch is got to correspond, obviously, to the thickness and size of your lacing. You don't really want to be struggling to try and get the lacing through the hole. It wants to be comfortable. The whole process needs to flow. So, that is the size, it's roughly a centimetre, uh, the punch. So I'm going to draw on here, this is a line, This so this gave us an overlap, so the edge of the drum is probably about there, so we want to be somewhere there, okay. So that's going to be the sort of position, it's about just over a centimetre away from the edge of the skin. And we're going to put two. And so that distance that we have in between, I would say make it an, uh, one and a half to two centimetres. Not so critical if you're using a thick skin like this is, because it's very strong. Uh, that gap between there and there, that gap there, is what we're going to be pulling against. Uh, and on a, on a reasonably thin skin, that would be the vulnerable part that could potentially snap when we put it under lots of pressure. 
So on a thin skin, I would say make the hole slightly wider apart to give a give a, a bigger section of skin to pull against. But on a thick skin, as I say, it's not so crucial. You'll see what I mean. That probably doesn't make any sense to you at all. You'll see what I mean when we actually come to do the lacing and when we start to pull and put the, the stress and the tension into it. Now I have a feeling this is going to make the cameras jump all over the place. We'll see. So there's the first two holes. Um, if we always start at the mark and then come the same direction, then they're all going to be equally spaced and the right way around. done the whole 32 holes uh, now you're going to be left with lots of uh, these little pieces of skin that you've punched uh, it's quite important to pick all these up get rid of them move them away from the area you're working in I like to leave these dry to dry out and they make like kind of little pellets and I like to include them sometimes in rattles uh, they've got a nice sonic okay the other the, other, the main reason though to clean these up straight away is because you don't want any of these trapped between the side of the drum the side of the, uh, the frame of the drum and the skin as it kind of comes up if you've got these fly, flying around the place you might end up with a bulge at the side of your drum where you've got one of these trapped underneath the skin which you don't really want okay so let's put them over to one side oh one more hole one more hole to do the one at the end of the lacing as i said before this is quite uh, an important one we won't go far without it in the video got vibrated away there so uh, that might be a little bit of a boring section of video for you <laughs> looking at the table all right so here we go we're ready we are ready a little bit of cotton on there so this bit quite important we can go through we start with this this uh, this little bit here make sure this camera is looking at the right direction it is okay let's bring this this way slightly so we fold it tight small as possible so we can go through a hole I'm going to bring this over here. I want you to be able to see this quite clearly. So we're coming up through a hole with the big circular tab. And then we're going to go from the front, the outside underneath, we're going to come up to the inside and then we're going to go back out again like that. And then we're going to get the end and it's a good idea to thread it through your fingers like this. You don't want to thread it through and then find out that you've got a knot in it or something like that. You want this to be a smooth transition. So then this goes through the hole there 
and then we pull that through. So can you see now that what I mean about locking into position? So this is our anchorage point on the on the drum head. Now you wouldn't want to tie it on. That isn't a safe and secure way of, of fixing. If you try and tie skin, even if you put a double double knot or whatever, because it's wet and it's slippy, it'll pull out. The, the knot will fail. So this is the sure-fired way of being able to do that secure fixing at the beginning. So let me adjust this camera. We're going to count now. We want the exact opposite number. <clears throat> so we can guess it. I'm going to guess it's there but we're going to count round to be sure so we won't count that one we start with number one on the first one away so one two three four five six seven eight eight is a half of 16 so that's the one we want so again we could always when we're putting the uh, when we're threading the lace we're always going to thread from the front of the drum which is the face of the drum which is in this case has got the design on it so that's easy to remember so we're going to go from the outside in and we're going to go in a flowing motion okay by what i mean is we're going to take the path of least resistance around the drum so if we start here and we're going to go from straight up and then we've got to go either to that side or to that side or basically that side or that side so if we're going to go to the left and I always go to the left uh, we want to come out so you've got two holes at the top there you've got one that side one that side one on the right one on the left so we go in from the right and come out of the left because that's the direction we want to go because it's going to flow so if you can imagine you go up and you go in there out there because you're going to come down there and then you want to go in from the left out to the right because you want to then go that way so it's going to go doom, doom, doom. it's a big flow big spiral round and round and round i think the postman might be here so i'm sure that will become clear as i go around now when you see how it works often these things are best demonstrated rather than talked about if you just remember it's got to stay in the flow the path of least resistance so as you can see now i'll just check this camera again it always goes off that's it so you can't see the so yeah so we don't want to have too much so we don't want to pull it too tight so we just pull it back a little bit so we've got a little bit of play that little bit of play will allow us to adjust the position of the frame uh, on the skin as we as we go around if you pull it too tight and it's slightly the wrong place you'll have a job to move it back again and it won't look even and nice so we've come out this side we've come to the left so we go in on that left hand side come out that side and we're heading over to there the other really important thing to remember is that we always go underneath the lacing not on the top we don't go over the top we always make sure we go underneath and then we're going to go in that side because the next hole after this one is going to be over here so we want to come out at that side keep the flow so we pull that through and it's not a race we don't have to do this quickly we do it mindfully with purpose and true intention So 
remember I said go underneath so we'll go underneath and we'll pull that through the other thing about going mindfully and slowly is it it's absorbing the process if we rush on ahead and try and do it as quickly as we can for a start off the process will be over sooner we won't get as much enjoyment prolong the enjoyment prolong the process it is about the journey so it's very easy to make mistakes with this going in at the right place and uh, coming out at the right place everything that we do now is laying a foundation for later on when we come to finish the drum put the tension to the drum uh, and tie the lacing around to make the handle all of those things that come later on are dependent on how well and thoroughly and accurately we do the the process now so take your time take it slowly be mindful of where you're going in where you're going out whether you're going under or whether you're going over all of those things will make the end result so much more rewarding uh, it ultimately will serve its purpose a lot better so at this point I would imagine I'll be fast forwarding again. <laughs> okay. So we have now, and we've threaded the lacing. Uh, it's all very loose still. Uh, at this point we can if we've laced it fairly loosely as I said we can adjust the frame uh, if it's, it seems like it's not coming over very far at one side we can just alter the uh, frame a little bit but I think looking at this that it's all looking pretty good pretty even and if we turn it over we get our first glimpse of what the drum might be looking like once it's finished and in this case, I think it looks rather beautiful. Let me check this. Yeah, beautiful. So we're gonna pause the video because the next section is going to be putting the strain into the lacing and bringing it all nice and tight and making the, the drum head tight across the front so that it will resonate once it's dried and we'll play and have a beautiful voice. So I'll press pause. Thanks for watching this bit. Hope to join I hope you can join me on the next bit. Bye for now.